Uh, folks, if we can come back together for two minutes here, there's one question I heard I'd like to, to, to bring up to the whole group. Most people are on their graphing now. I see the eyes coming on to me. There's an interesting question that's come up in multiple groups, and I kind of went in detail with it with Anya's group, but the question was, I've got my data, got my Fs, got my X, got my forces, got my uh, stretches. Should I do X versus F? Thank you, Brian. Or should I do F versus X? If that group could just stay silent for a second. What are our thoughts on X versus F or F versus X? Do you understand the question I'm asking? Does it matter which one I put on the x-axis or the y-axis? No. Maybe. Alexis. Well, I just thought I thought it don't matter. It, um, it would be interesting if each group do different, um, uh, with different groups, like with different things and stuff like that. Ultimately, we are looking for, for what in the graphs? We said at the beginning of class, we're looking for what in the graphs? A linear. linear. We are looking for something to be linear, okay? So, if we're not sure if this is going to change whether it's linear or not, someone in your group graph it this way, someone in your group graph it that way, and we'll see what happens. Wouldn't it be exciting if there's a difference? Wouldn't it be exciting if they're the same and we can see how they're the same by doing it two different ways? I'm so thrilled. Is there one right way to do it? No. All right, continue, folks. We're, we're close to making some discoveries about that spring constant. Is this one right? 